guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Ultimate, Tila, the Warrior Goddess from Super 7. That's right, we are continuing our look at the brand new Ultimates from the Masters of the Universe Classics line, the first foray into this series from Super 7, which is a bunch of reissues of popular characters, and out of this entire assortment, there's probably not one figure that is most in need of a reissue as Tila here. Tila is one of those figures that came out towards the beginning of the original Masters of the Universe Classics line from Mattel, and she never got reissued, so a lot of people were hoping to get a Tila, and finally, Super 7 has answered that by giving us this gorgeous figure in this brand new packaging. So I've talked about this in my other videos on the Ultimates already, but it's worth reiterating how beautiful this new vintage inspired packaging is. Featuring that classic red exploding bricks with the nice blue sky, the classic logo up there. We even have a new faux mini comic behind Tila featuring some brand new artwork. And then you can see all of Tila's accessories with multiple heads. Look at that, four heads in total with this package, plus a ton of accessories. When we flip this around to the back side, up here at the top, we are treated to some gorgeous new artwork on the back of the packaging there, which again, something that we saw on all of the vintage packages. I love that. And it's great seeing some new artwork featuring Tila leading the Royal Guards into battle against a Rotan, which is great. How awesome is that? Such cool new artwork, which I absolutely love. And then down below that, we've got a cross sell showing the rest of the Ultimates, some future releases in the Classics line from Super 7. As well as this fun little uh, drawn section over here showing you how you can remove and interchange the heads and the armor. Really fun stuff. It is absolutely gorgeous packaging with my only complaint so far, which, which again, I'm reiterating, my only complaint is that it's not resealable. I feel like with something this beautiful, with collectors, it would have been great to be able to open this up, pull the figures out, and then put them back in. As it is, we are going to have to rip this packaging open in order to get to the figure, and since this is a review, well, we're going to do just that. So let's take a closer look at the Tila figure inside. All right, so just like we've seen with the other new Ultimate figures, when you pull Tila outside of the package, right behind the figure is this brand new, basically postcard, which is meant to kind of pay homage to the classic mini comics that came with the vintage Masters of the Universe action figures. And these are gorgeous because they feature brand new artwork that is done in that very vintage styling. We got Tila riding this awesome yellow unicorn doing battle with evil in as He-Man watches on in the background. It's absolutely gorgeous artwork. I love that we get this included with the figures again just really makes them feel very retro or very vintage and then flipping it around to the back side this is where the brand new bio for the characters is seen as well as the continuing story of masters of the universe in the classics line so pretty cool stuff and i love that we are getting these included with the figures so got that out of the way let's move on and take a closer look at the Tila action figure. So just like we've been doing with the others, let's go ahead and start with the measurements in case this is your first time seeing this figure, where you can see that Tila here actually stands just a hair over seven inches tall. Just like with all of the female Masters of the Universe Classics figures that Mattel released, this new Tila is a hair taller than all of the male figures. So you can see here, she stands a little bit taller than He-Man. That's actually something that has always been uh, a thing with the female figures in the line. Now, some of them did get shortened out, uh, but Tila here, since she's the exact same sculpt as before, that puts her at exactly the same height as that vintage figure. So looking at the overall look of this one, she is gorgeous. And I maintain that just like when this figure was first released, this is one of the most beautiful female action figure sculpts that I think I've ever seen in a toy line. And I really commend the Four Horsemen for doing such an amazing job with Tila here. So right out of the package, she's rocking the classic snake headdress, uh, which is seen on that vintage action figure. And of course, she's wearing kind of that classic white and gold outfit. I will say that all of the paint on the figure, specifically on the outfit here, is nice and bright and vibrant. Um, there is some sculpted lines you can see um, kind of on the wrist bracers there that um, they look a little off because um, they're, they don't really match up with the paint, but I think that's just the way the sculpted lines are in there because it's not like uh, the paint is sloppy here. There's just these extra sculpted lines in the actual wrist bracers around the raised designs that are painted gold. 
But the rest of it is nice because it's like a golden bronze mix, which you can really see in there. They do have a nice kind of metallic look to them. The white is a nice crisp bright white. And then the snake harness that she's wearing or the headdress is kind of this more reddish color, uh, which is the same that's seen on her boots. And as we see a little bit later on in comparison time, this is a little bit brighter than what we saw on the original figure. But for the most part, she very much matches up exactly with what we saw on that classic figure. So let's go ahead and break down the articulation on this figure in case you have never seen it before. Um, the head is on a nice uh, ball joint there that allows it to roll all the way around. She does have this high collar up on her neck. Uh, it is a bit pliable. You can see it bends around just a little bit. It doesn't really get in the way too much, but when she's wearing the snake uh, headdress there, it's going to hinder the movement just a bit. Now, that headdress is removable from that head. Uh, it just pops right off of this particular head here, and it is actually a really nice and solid piece. Little pliable this direction but solid uh, horizontally there and it's nicely made so you can see the head does have a good range of movement at the top of the neck there she does have nice ball joints at the shoulder so the arms can go outwards forwards and backwards you know swivel around there which is nice she does have swivers swivels at the bicep she's got single joints at the elbow and then she's got swivels up here at the wrist as well. Now, just like in the past, um, the actual bodysuit that she's wearing is going to hinder the motion at the waist. So we can't really turn her at the waist there. Um, she does have nice joints at the thighs. You can see so the legs can go outwards very nicely. They can move forwards and backwards. Um, slightly hindered by the bodysuit that she's wearing, but it's not too bad. She does get a really nice range of motion moving the legs outwards there and swivels side to side. You got a single joint at the knee you do have nice boot cut articulation and then one thing that Tila's got in her boot sculpt that the others have uh, do not have uh, as well as being able to move the ankles forwards and backwards she does have the nice rocker joint on the ankles there as well and I will say that all of the joints on this figure including the ankles are nice and tight so I don't have any problems there whatsoever she's very easy to pose very easy to balance and all of the articulation functions perfectly so very nice and exactly as anticipated because she's just like the first release of the figure so she comes with a ton of accessories and let's go ahead and start with the heads uh, because we've already talked a little bit about the snake headdress and you'll notice when I pop that off she is rocking the head that's got this nice golden helmet which is the head that will be used with the headdress in addition to that, just like the first release of Tila, she does also come with the ponytail head, uh, which has got the nice red hair there. It looks just like the original release. Uh, but the new additions that this particular figure comes with is the Battleground Tila head, which basically gives you the long blonde hair. This is so that you can kind of recreate some of her earlier looks from the old DC mini comics where she did have blonde hair. And in addition to that, we get a brand new head. This head has never been released with this paint scheme in any of the past figures. This is the same as the red-headed sculpt, but it is painted with blonde hair. And again, this is so you can recreate the way that she looked in some of those early mini comics and even some of that early media there where she was uh, drawn with the blonde hair so this is pretty cool we've never actually had this particular head before so if you're picking this figure up you will get something brand new that has never been released in Mattel's run of Masters of the Universe classics now if you are new to this let me show you real quick how you will interchange the head the head is just on a little ball joint so you can actually pop the head right off and I will say that just like with the Mattel release on the female figures the neck peg is much skinnier than on the male figures and that does make it a little hard to actually pop the new head on uh, you'll have to push a little bit of pressure and I'm always a little worried that I'm gonna break it now it doesn't break I haven't had any problems with one actually breaking I will just say that with that smaller neck peg it always makes me a little bit more cautious but you can see it pops on there nice and tight good firm uh, new head there and that way you can swap all of these out and you can mix and match them and it will give you various ways to display Tila based on the version of her that you prefer. Whether you want her with that headdress, whether you want her with the blonde hair like some of the old mini comics, the red hair like in Filmation or even the old toy line. And then the only other thing I want to point out, that Battleground Tila head with this body, it's a little bit hard to put on because the long hair is very, very rigid plastic. And I have found that popping this on the ball joint is actually a little bit harder as a result because it really rubs on that back piece on the back. Now, it's worth noting 
noting that this head sculpt was not originally designed for this body. It was with that kind of the golden bikini body that was used on the Battleground Tila. It's possible to get it on there, but I just wanted to make you aware that it's a little bit harder to get on. It's going to take a little bit of extra work. Now, I like all the additional heads. Personally, I'm always going to prefer that red uh, ponytail head, but I love that we get so many options with Tila. This really does make her kind of the ultimate Tila action figure. And in addition to that, we've got several weapon accessories. So she comes with two staffs. First of all, we've got that kind of golden spear staff, which came with the golden, or I'm sorry, which came with the uh, green goddess figure in Masters of the Universe Classics. Again, kind of a classic mini comic look for, done in a really nice like metallic-y gold and plastic. She can hold it in either one of her hands just fine because they are molded as such. It's also a nice kind of sturdy staff. This one's not too pliable, so very cool. Uh, we'll match up with the snake harness or however you decide to display her. In addition to that, if you want the classic snake staff, of course, she does come with that as well. Now, this is just like the Mattel release where it's a bit warped. I think it's that way by design. It's worth noting it's a little pliable, uh, but it basically looks exactly like the version that came with the Mattel figure. And in addition to that, she also comes with her shield accessory, which just has a little clip on there that can clip on her forearm anywhere on either arm. Uh, you do want to kind of put it up a little bit higher on her forearm so that it actually clips in place because down on the wrist, you can see it's a little too loose. So you actually want to find the right spot and clip it on and it actually holds on pretty nicely. And in addition to that, she also comes with a sword because... She's a general after all. That way she can go and do battle on her own. So lots of accessories, interchangeable heads. Like I said, this really does feel like an ultimate version of Tila. So we keep talking about the past release. So let's go ahead and do this. It's comparison time. Here we've got the new Ultimates version from Super 7 standing alongside that original release from Mattel. As I said, when you look at them side by side, the two figures are actually almost identical. The biggest difference is with the uh, red. The red in her hair is a little bit lighter, and it's definitely lighter in her boots, where the boots previously were much more of a dark brown color. But otherwise, everything about this figure looks almost identical to that original release, except she comes with some new accessories. So this is a really, really well done figure overall. I love the packaging presentation. Again, my only nitpick there is that it's not resealable. I hate having to rip those open. But otherwise, I pretty much feel like this is a perfect figure. I have no problems with mine whatsoever. She's a great reissue of a figure that never got a reissue before. So many fans missed out on the original Tila, and this kind of puts her back out there, and hopefully some fans were able to snag her this time around to finally add her to the collection, because she is one of the best sculpted figures still to this day in the Masters of the Universe Classics lineup. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until next time, my friends.